Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and are you prepared for like crazy cuteness? So I made some super cute cards and they all were based off this card that I created during my YouTube live this past Monday. And while this is really sweet and cute and everything, the inside was just so adorable and I loved how cute this little bunny turned out. So I had to create some coordinating cards to go with that. So I created the sweet little bunny, the little cute lamb, and the adorable chick. So let me show you how I created these cards because they're really simple and they're all done the same just with, um, you know, the different image and different color. So I'm starting with the second to largest scalloped rectangle from the Stitched So Sweetly dies. They're so sweet. And I'm going to do the one with the chick. Now I'm going to stamp this in basic gray ink. I think it's a little softer than stamping it in black and I just kind of like that look. It is an Easter card after all. So I'll just stamp that chick on here like so. Very cute. And then I'm going to do a little uh, ink blending. And for that, I'm going to use my two blending brushes. These are just oval makeup brushes that I got on Amazon. And I'm going to take and use some balmy blue and some granny apple green for this. So I'll put my green over here and my blue over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up some color. And then I always like to get rid of that harsh ink um, at the beginning and then I'll just sponge some color over the top. I'm kind of putting my fingers over the chick just so I don't get ink on the chick. Cause you know, we just want some blue up top. And that looks pretty cute maybe a little bit more ink okay feeling pretty good about that all right next I want some green grass so that my chick is not free floating um, in space and so for that I'm going to actually start by stamping some of the grass on here now the grass image and by the way all of these images are coming from this sweet little welcome Easter stamp set that is in our occasions catalog so you can order that from my online store all the links are in the description of this video so you can just click see more and you'll see all of those details Details. Now I um, am going to stamp the grass in my granny apple green ink and I'm just going to stamp it in here in a few places like so and then I'll color that in with some green ink just like before get some ink on there get rid of that first harsh bit of color and then we'll sponge on the rest now, I don't mind that there's a little bit of white space kind of between my chick and the and uh, the sky. That's just fine. Um, but I think it really makes my chick pop. So that's always good. All right. I'm going to color these in with some blends. I've got my pineapple punch blends. And I'll start with the dark. And I'll put some dark on here. like so <clears throat> and then I'm going to blend that out <clears throat> excuse me with my light now on my original sample that I showed you I did some uh, daffodil delight for the colors um, but what actually I found was that I didn't have any more daffodil delight printed paper so I did have some pineapple punch printed paper, so that just all kind of worked out. So I'll put both of the colors in the um, description of the video for you, but you can you can do either one. Um, and then I'm also going to do the little thing up here. I don't know what that's called. I'm sure it has a name, <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'll just blend that out as well, and then we'll do it the beak in pumpkin pie blends. So again, I'll start with the dark for the beak and then we'll blend that out a little bit. And then we'll do its feet.
Okay, so cute. All right, now I also want this to be a girl chick because that's cute, right? So I'm just gonna take a little flower. Now this flower came from the, uh, actually I don't know the name of them. It goes with the sending you thoughts. It's something about thoughts. <laughs> Anyway, these are the dies that are part of the celebration coordination right now. Or not celebration coordination, sorry. The coordination product release. That's the stuff that's on um, available just uh, through the end of this month. So this is the set of, of dies that coordinates with the Sending You Thoughts and is what I used to make that card I showed you originally, this one. And so this, uh, these dies have those cute little flowers in them. So I die cut um, one of the flowers in, this is Poppy Parade cardstock. You could do, um, I also have some in Mango Melody and Melon Mambo. But when you put this cute little flower on her head, it's for sure a girl chick, right? And then as we all know, girls like bling. So we're going to put a little bling um, on her head as well. All right, to do that, I've got my uh, rhinestones here. I'm just looking for my take your pick tool. I had cleaned off my desk like totally today and um, I was making this card and sort of created a bit of a mess <laughs> as I often do. I don't know what happened to it. All right, I'll improvise by using my scissors, but my take your pick tool is so handy for this there we go okay so now it's a girl chick it's so cute all right I have cut a two or pardon me a three and three quarters by five inch piece of that printed paper this is from the in colors and I'm going to adhere this to my coordinating layer of pineapple punch card stock which is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then I'm going to pop my cute little chick up on here and then I'm also going to mount all of this to a thick whisper white card base so that's really simple and I've got the sentiment that comes in the stamp set the happy Easter that I will stamp on a three-quarter inch strip of um, pineapple punch. Let me fold my card base first. Oh my goodness, I've lost my bone folder too. What is this world coming to? I think I really need to clean up my desk. If you could see outside the camera, you would see it is not tidy. But I have it on good authority that... Messy stampers are the most creative. <laughs> okay, so I'm just adhering that to my white card base, which looks adorable. And then I will take and add that strip of yellow. Oh my goodness. Here it is. I knew it was close by. Okay. And um, here we go. So we'll just stamp that in the uh, same color ink. And then I'll use my triple banner punch to punch the ends of this. And then I'll adhere it to my card. Oh my gosh, it's just the cutest stinking card ever, isn't it? I love this one. Now I also created a cute little treat box with some Easter sweets in it to coordinate. And for this, I'm taking one of our uh, box boxes with windows. They are called Baker's Boxes, that's what I thought. They are food safe, by the way. So you can put whatever treat you'd like in here. I've got some Jelly Bellies. And then I've also taken a piece of printed paper. Now this is from the Pleased as Punch 
pack of printed paper, which is a, one of those coordination products on special this month. And I've got a two and a half inch strip of this paper. Now I'm gonna just kind of fit it around my box. And when I do that, um, it's not quite uh, enough to go across the 12 inches isn't. So what I'm going to do is add a little strip to the back and that will uh, put the rest of it or, or hold the rest of it together. And then I'm just looking for my strip. I of course have it. Can I find it? Oh, it's cause it was upside down. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to, um, put some adhesive on either side to hold this belly band together. And of course, I'm going to want this to be not super tight, but enough that, you know, it will look nice on, on my box. Okay, so I'll flip that over. Oh, look, one fell out. I probably should eat that. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And then I have die cut for myself a stitched circle in the largest size. And I'm going to stamp that with, this time I'm gonna stamp it with our bunny because oh my gosh, the bunny is just so stinking cute. Okay, and we're gonna do much the same way. So I've got my bunny on here. I'll add that grass below my bunny. I moved my green ink pad, so let me grab it. All right, so we'll do a little bit more sponging and we'll also stamp the grass once again. All right, so here is my green. So I'll just sponge a little at the bottom there. Okay, and I'll stamp some of that grass that's on here like so and then I want to uh, color this in and the coloring is really simple I've just got my uh, lovely lipstick blends and I'm going bright on here and I'm just fine with that so I'll color a little bit in here a little bit in here and then blend them out and of course I have a pink nose because that would be quite cute. Oh, I just think this bunny is so sweet. And then, of course, because this is a girl bunny, we will absolutely put a sweet little flower on her as well. Okay, so that looks really cute. Oh, and then I will still do my sky. Um, so for that, let me grab my other brush which is right here, and some blue ink. Get rid of that first bit, and we'll just sponge some around the top. Like so. Oh, so cute. All right, now I'm going to take and put that on my box. And of course, as promised, we will add a sweet little flower in her hair. Or, get it, hair, get it. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was terrible. All right, <laughs> so we'll put that little flower right there along with a rhinestone. Because, come on, it's just so cute. And I did find my pick, take your pick tool in the meantime. So I can just stick that right in place, like so. Okay, now the last little thing that I'm going to do is add a touch of ribbon. And for that, I've got this sweet um, tool polka dot ribbon, which I just love. And I'm going to just put a little zigzag um, under here and then add it to my box now these treat or these boxes are really great you can put um, a cupcake in here if it's not too tall 
I also have it on good authority that you can actually fit in here a, um, a set of four mini um, keepsake boxes. Those ones that were in the um, holiday catalog, four of them will fit in in one of these boxes so that's pretty awesome okay so I've got that all stuck down and then I'm gonna place this popped up on my box and then we have a box and a set of cards to make everybody's Easter oh so fun and some of those bigger Easter treats will fit in there like you know the Reese's eggs or the chocolate eggs or chocolate bunnies whatever you need to put in here so isn't that just adorable? I hope you've loved these cards and they've inspired you to create a few Easter treats for the people on your Easter list. Um, if you need any of the supplies to purchase to create these um, on your own, I would be so grateful for your business. Please shop my online store. I've got links to all of these products in the description of this video below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here and you won't miss any of my fun videos that are coming out. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Bye.